Our world's oceans are vast, covering 70% of the planet's surface. The world record for the deepest scuba dive is an impressive 332.5 meters, approximately 1,090 feet. Beyond this depth, the underwater pressure becomes increasingly intense. But what if we venture 11,034 meters below sea level? What will we discover in the unfathomable depths? The answer is uncertainty, wonder, and the potential for groundbreaking revelations. What's even more surprising is that we know more about the surface of Mars than about the floor of our very own oceans. While we send missions and rovers to explore distant planets, the mysteries that lie beneath our oceans remain largely untouched. So, let's dive in and uncover the secrets of the ocean's deepest parts. The average depth of the oceans is a staggering 3.7 kilometers. But here's a fascinating fact. Sunlight can only reach about 100 meters below the surface. Beyond that point, darkness rules the deep underwater world. It's like a whole hidden realm beneath the waves. Now let's take this one step further and think about it. Since most of our planet is covered in water, that means most of the Earth exists in total darkness. It's mind-blowing to realize that the ocean holds nearly 96% of all the Earth's water, leaving only a tiny portion as fresh water. If we collected all that fresh water flowing into the ocean and spread it over the ocean's surface, it would create a layer about 1.25 meters thick. That's about the height of a person. Such a tiny fraction compared to the vastness of the seas. And here's another eye-opener. A whopping 94% of all life on Earth lives in the water. That means those of us living on land are just a tiny minority in the grand scheme of life. The mysteries hidden in the ocean's depths are simply awe-inspiring, and exploring the ocean's depths is no easy task. It's a world of darkness and extreme pressure that makes it tough to explore. But we're setting off on an exciting journey into the very depths. We're going to find out what lies at the bottom of the ocean, what it's made of, and what extraordinary things happen there. As we dive deeper, the underwater landscape changes dramatically. At 40 meters, we've reached the maximum depth for pearl collectors diving without scuba gear. Beyond that mark, the water pressure forces air to escape from their lungs, making it difficult to explore any further without specialized equipment. At 200 meters, we enter the Twilight Zone, where 90% of all aquatic life exists. The faint light that manages to penetrate this depth allows phytoplankton to grow, providing a vital food source for various marine creatures. It's like an underwater paradise where life thrives in the dimly lit world. Venturing down to 332 meters, we encounter the record for deep diving with scuba gear. But beyond this point, no one has managed to dive without the aid of a bathyscaphe specialized deep-sea submersibles. At 565 meters, photosynthesis becomes nearly impossible due to the lack of light, and vegetation disappears. Yet a surprising number of fish still call this zone home, even though it's not the friendliest environment. Many of them seek refuge from predators in this deep, dark world. We reach the end of the twilight zone at 1,000 meters, where less than 1% of sunlight reaches. Yet life doesn't give up. Inhabitants here have evolved fascinating abilities, using bioluminescent chemical reactions to attract prey or scare off predators. One fascinating species, the siphonophores, live in colonies and exhibit a close relationship to jellyfish. As we venture even deeper, life becomes more bizarre and alien. At 1,027 meters, we encounter a record of military submarine dive. We're now entering the Midnight Zone, where complete darkness reigns and food is incredibly scarce. Ocean life here conserves energy, 
drifting and collecting sea snow, tiny particles of dead fish, plant feces, dust, and sand that gently fall from above. At 2,000 meters, we're in the Bathyal zone, where pressure is about 200 times that at the surface. This region is home to strange and elusive deep-sea creatures, like the dragonfish, gulper eel, and fangtooth, which have adapted to the challenging conditions. Continuing down to 4,000 meters, we enter the abyssal zone, a vast expanse of the ocean floor. The cold, darkness, and pressure in this region seem extreme, yet life still manages to thrive. Near hydrothermal vents, giant tube worms flourish, relying on chemosynthesis rather than sunlight for survival. At 6,000 meters, we find transcontinental internet cables laid on the ocean floor, and we consider this depth as the conditional bottom of the ocean. However, many areas extend much deeper, like the Mariana Trench, one of the most famous oceanic trenches on Earth. The Mariana Trench is not a simple hole, as some might think. It's a colossal formation. Stretching over 542 kilometers, it's more than five times the length of the famous Grand Canyon. It's also relatively narrow, averaging about 70 kilometers wide. Within the Mariana Trench, we find several places deeper than 10,000 meters. The Challenger Abyss is one of the most famous locations, situated around 340 kilometers from the island of Guam. Its maximum depth ranges from 10,028 meters to an astonishing 11,034 meters below sea level. Another fascinating point is the Serena Deep, about 200 kilometers east of the Challenger Abyss. It reaches a maximum depth of 10,809 meters, making it the second deepest spot on Earth. Now, let's delve into the mysterious Kermadec Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Just like the famous Mariana Trench in the Atlantic, this deep water trough is gigantic, stretching about 1,200 kilometers in length. Discovered in 1889 by an expedition of the British ship Penguin, its depth is only slightly less than the Mariana Trench, reaching a remarkable 10,047 meters. As we explore further, we are captivated by the unique and intriguing species that call the trench home. In 2012, researchers made a groundbreaking discovery. The colossal amphipods, Alicella gigantea. These astonishing crustaceans defied all expectations, growing up to an astounding 34 centimeters in length, a far cry from their typical two centimeter counterparts. Their remarkable size is a result of the extreme living conditions they endure at such profound depths. Delving deeper into the trench, we encounter a world of enigmatic deep-sea fish from the Liparidae family, particularly the extraordinary Liparis kermadicensis. This mysterious fish holds the distinction of being the second deepest fish in the world residing at depths ranging from 6,472 to 7,561 meters. However, the true wonder emerges when we stumble upon the pearl fish, an exceptional find at an incredible depth of 8,200 to 8,300 meters. What bewilders scientists is that pearl fish are typically found much closer to the surface thriving at depths of 1,800 to 2,000 meters. The journey of how these creatures navigated such extreme depths and managed to survive remains a riddle that continues to puzzle and fascinate researchers. Our expedition into the Kermadec Trench is just one small chapter in the vast and enthralling book of exploring the ocean's deepest places. As technology advances, so does our ability to venture into the uncharted territories of the underwater world. In 2020 alone, six manned expeditions ventured into the Mariana Trench, a testament to our insatiable curiosity and thirst for discovery. 
Deep sea exploration has unveiled a fascinating world, teeming with unique and mesmerizing species found at various depths in the ocean. The graceful Dumbo octopus elegantly navigates the waters at depths ranging from 3,000 meters to 4,000 meters. At 600 meters to 1,500 meters, the enigmatic vampire squid employs its web-like arms and bioluminescence to thrive in the mesopelagic zone. Eerie-looking deep-sea anglerfish, residing at 600 meters to 1,500 meters, utilize their bioluminescent lure to attract prey in the dimly lit environment. Giant isopods, reminiscent of prehistoric pill bugs, scavenge for food at depths of 1,000 meters to 2,500 meters. The mysterious deep-sea dragonfish, observed at 500 meters to 2,000 meters, boasts unique adaptations for survival in the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones. Siphonophores inhabit the upper mesopelagic to the hadalpelagic zone, spanning from approximately 200 meters to depths beyond 1,000 meters. Deep sea glass sponges extend down into the bathypelagic and hadalpelagic zones, commonly observed at depths exceeding 500 meters. Barrel eye fish, found at 600 meters to 2,500 meters, use their transparent domes to detect bioluminescence from potential prey swimming above. These incredible depths host a treasure trove of life, urging further exploration and unraveling the mysteries of our planet's deep oceans. Yet our journey into the depths has only begun. The oceans hold untold wonders and secrets, waiting to be unveiled by brave explorers and scientists. The mysteries of the deep seas are as vast as the oceans themselves, leaving us in eager anticipation of what remarkable discoveries lie ahead. So, let us continue our pursuit of knowledge and adventure, delving deeper into the unknown to unravel the ocean's most remote and captivating realms. So, what do you think lurks in the depths of the oceans? Share in comments, like, subscribe, and watch more content like this, here.